I can share with you. So a, a good tip is always, and I wanted to mention this, is in the in the lessons when we have a lesson, you know, it's uh, kind of like you do a little, you study a little bit before, then you practice, and then after it's important to do something. So what some st uh, students do is they get the like the recording, this one, okay, I can send it to you by email, and then they can listen to it, they listen to it when they're doing something to kind of refresh the vocabulary and everything. So it's a it's a great tip. And it's a great uh, tool that you can use to kind of, uh, you know, keep keep what you learned. So, so uh, let's talk about the first question: What is your dream home? That is the that is the title of the lesson, and we're going to start with that question. So, Emily, let's start with you. What is your dream home? So, oh, my dream ho home is a really nice home. Uh, around uh, 200 square meters uh, with a garden and a swimming pool. And uh, yeah, like I, I love everything uh, white mm. and uh, good materials. And uh, I can design this home. <laughs> and I, I can, I okay. can design this home and uh, then it will... Um, I mean, all of my dreams will become real, and it means that I will go through my soul into this house. Wow, that's a, that's a good way to put it. Interesting. And Michael, what, what's your dream home? Uh, my dream mm, home is, uh, first of all, is uh, it's uh, very comfortable for living. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, it depends uh, on city. Mm -hmm. For example, if we if we uh, if we speak about Moscow, of course, is a, a flat in the center of a historical city is a, I think is my dream. Mm, but of course, uh, because Moscow is very very noisy city, uh, of course, I I want to have a cottage near the Moscow. Um, and the uh, comfortable flat in the center. I see. Uh, cottage for the weekends. Cottage for, for the weekend, of maybe uh, uh, for working from home. <laughs> if we have, <laughs> uh, if we have quarantine for lockdown for the lockdowns, the you know, <laughs> it's okay. <good. laughs> I understand. I understand. That's a good combination. It's a very good combination. And Huna, what about you? You know, can you describe your, you know, your perfect or your dream home? Uh, yes, my dream home is a uh, flat. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer a flat flat and the very large space so my dogs can run around in the, the building. Oh, wow. And also, I want, I hope some river is very close to my home because i like to ride a bicycle along the river so i hope that and uh, also many bedrooms and many bathrooms nice. and i think the scenery of the wind from the window Ooh, so like a good view yes good view i hope that Wow, those are great, great dreams. Great, great dreams. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, um, so let's start right now. Let's start with the first of all. I'm going to share in the chat. You, know, it's, you should have it in your email, but if you don't have it, or you, it's, I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so you can open it. Okay, and then we're going to start with a little bit with the vocabulary. Okay, so let's just start with the vocabulary. So these are the types of homes. Okay, so let's check the answers. If you already did it, great. If not, then we can do it now. And you can do whichever one you want right here. You don't have to start with A. You can do, you know, you can start with D or G, whatever you want. Okay, so let's start with Michael. Uh, detached uh, house. Mm -hmm. It's uh, um, a single house, not connected to any other buildings. That's correct. Yes, very good. And Emily. Uh, uh, 
for example, semi-detached house. Mm -hmm. mm, there is a, a, like the wall with another house. Mm -hmm. uh, that is joined to one another, small house. One, one, which is a different thing. One of a row okay. or house yeah. joint to like, um, yeah, a small house in the front. No, a house that is joined to one another. Yeah, that's right. Semi detached. It's joined. Okay, it's joined to it. Okay, and uh, Huna, your turn. Uh, first of Block of flat, uh, yeah. number four of building that consists of many flats. Exactly, exactly. So, a, so a flat, you know, is the same as an apartment. You can say apartment or flat, but the block of flats is the building, the apartment building. So that's that's correct. You know, very good. And then Michael, back to you. Uh, camper uh, van. Mm -hmm is a van which is adapted for living inside and traveling around. Exactly, exactly. And what does van mean? Van is a cap. Uh, mm, mm, like uh, like a train, uh, train cap. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a car, like a big car yeah. with more yeah. space, yeah. Okay, great. And uh, Emily? Cottage. Um, it's a small house in the country. And that's right, the cottage. Small house in the country. Okay, it's right here. Okay, perfect. Huna? Uh, Mansion, mm -hmm. not sure, but a luxurious house. Okay, so mansion. Actually, this one is one that is not on on here. There, are, there's another uh, one like similar to mansion, but it's one? a little bit different. Yeah, which one? Villa? Yeah, yeah, villa. Villa. Yes, that's right. That's right. The villa. The villa is a um, luxurious house. So it's similar to mansion, but a mansion just means that it's very big. You know? So, so mansion is super, super big. Villa is when there's a lot of luxury. Okay. But a mansion typically is luxurious. So it's kind of, kind of, uh, you know, yeah, kind of right. Okay. Perfect. And Michael, next one. Um, okay. Uh, mention is uh, one of a row of houses that are joined to each mm -hmm. other. Well, actually, that, uh, that's a different one. Different. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mention is okay. Uh, sorry. And um, one of a row of houses. We have only one answer, okay? Yeah, yeah. we only have one left, yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe one of um, terrorist house. Uh, yeah, terrorist house. I so, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because in the semi-detached house <laughs> is a row of house. So, no, so to let me explain what terrorist house is. A terrorist house is... Um, it's, for example, in, in the UK, sometimes you have all these houses that look exactly the same. So they look like a terrace because they are all connected and they're mm -hmm. all the same. Okay. So maybe look and look and let's, let's Google it. So if you, oops, that's not, no, no, no. Let's see, that's not right. So let's see, terrace home. There's home, and then let's look at the pictures. So, mm, okay. So they are they are exactly the same. OK. 
Okay. And yeah, so these are all terraced homes. Okay. And uh, okay, good, good, good. And so let's go back here. Okay. So we have, uh, and so we talked about uh, mansion. Okay. And, uh, and then, you know, Emily, can you tell us what a farmhouse is? A uh, farmhouse is actually, um, Mm, I don't, I mean, it depends on the interior design, I think, and uh, it, uh, mm. So what's a, what's a farm? Farm, it's like, uh, mm, I mean, it's like what you use for residential uh, purpose. Mm, you can. Like agriculture. Agriculture, that's right. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's also also for animals. <laughs> for animals, yeah. Like a house outside of the of the city in the countryside, <laughs> farm with uh, animals and like Emily said, some agriculture. You know, maybe some uh, you know some vegetables, some fruits that you've. So it's just a house on a farm. That's all. A house on a farm is a farmhouse. Okay. Good. So now the first uh, the first exercise that we'll work with our partner on, okay, will be to uh, talk about the advantages, the good things, and the disadvantages, the bad things, about living in these homes right here. Okay, in these homes, good things and bad things. So think about, you know. Um, you know, like uh, being close to the city, being outside of the city, uh, neighbors, the noise, the comfort, you know, uh, how comfortable it is, how it, the price, you can talk about the price, okay? You can talk about all the, you know, everything. So, and, and try to use as many of these expressions as possible. I would try to use the ones that you don't normally use. So I think is very easy for you, but okay, you can say, in my opinion, is very easy. Okay, but you can say, try to use this one. As far as I'm concerned, um, you know, uh, cottages are blah blah blah. If you ask me, terraced houses are, or terraced houses seem to be, and then finish the sentence. Okay, and then you can turn it into a conversation. Okay, you can discuss it, you can agree, you can disagree, all this stuff. Okay, so let's let's go into our breakout rooms. Perfect. So join your partner and discuss the advantages and the disadvantages of all of these types of homes. Hi, Michael. Yes. So, Michael, let's talk about these homes. So, which one do you want to talk about? Um, maybe semi-detached house. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, semi-detached house is a, um, is a good compromise between mm -hmm. price and uh, very, very high class of comfort. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yes. And so how, how can, uh, that's, a, that's a good, good uh, expression. It's a good compromise. And so why is that a good compromise? Can you explain to uh, me in more detail? Hmm. Yeah, because you have, uh, you, you can, um, in my opinion, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you with your neighbors can share uh, different uh, cost, mm -hmm. cost, Okay. And um, you have uh, common common uh, com uh, common infrastructure, mm -hmm. um, and um, you have common constructions, mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, cost of um, cost of build of this house is uh, low. Then you can um, you can uh, separate house if yeah. you have separate house. And um, 
in Russia near Moscow we have a lot of uh, a lot of small uh, small new town where uh, where um, where we have semi detached house uh, we name we name it uh, duplex or or we we name them or we call them we call them we call them um, duplex or townhouse yes exactly yeah we call them townhouses too or duplex homes yeah 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 if, if you ask me it's the best of both worlds so it's a little bit like an apartment some but it's also like a home so it's it's a mix of both you know and um yeah i think it's uh it's a good option it's a good option for some people especially now that homes are so expensive okay great 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 and so uh, now can you get can you tell me uh what are some disadvantages of these uh, sem semi detached houses okay because you need to share <laughs> some infrastructure and construction with your uh, neighbors and um if neighbors is bad guys, <laughs> well, neighbors are are, are bad guys. Bad guys. Uh, you have a big problem, <laughs> um, and of course, maybe um, maybe you need to check your neighbors before buying, of course, uh, or maybe you need to buy um, buy a semi detached house with your friends or relatives. <laughs> That's but right. uh, in, in this situation you have you will have <laughs> problems too <laughs> that's right that's right great great, great. Perfect. so let's let's choose another one that you want to talk about okay mm. uh camper van mm. uh, yes uh i suppose uh it's a, a great way if you Mm, if you want to reduce your cost of living, mm -hmm. I, I think one uh, opinion in American um, uh, use uh, old people, I don't know, pensions, pension people. Pensions. Or Pension. pensioners, you say pensioners. Pensioners, yeah. yes. Pensioners, uh, they don't have a lot of money for uh, cost uh, for uh, for for living their house. yes yeah they have a lot of mortgage during all life after uh, after uh, the last day of the work they have a lot of uh, credit um, credit um, obligations for the bank and they they want to reduce cost and they sell their mortgage house and uh, move to uh, when camp yeah uh, camper van and the way to reduce cost i don't know is it true or not <laughs> yeah it's very it's very common also for some people people who have a home like you said pensioners you know or re retired people you can also say retired people uh, retired people you know they have a house that's too big for them you know and they want to travel so they rent their house they can get a lot of money for rent mm -hmm. and then they they can live in a camper van or travel around the country you know um you know and and get a little bit of money from the house mm -hmm. and then finance their traveling like that so some people some people do things like that especially because if you have kids then and you have a, a home like let's say a detached house you know or then yeah. you don't need so much space yeah so why not rent it you know yeah it's good, it's good. Great, idea. Yeah. great but in, but in russia it's not very popular way to living or way of traveling oh. yeah yes Is it because it's, it's such a big country no yes one of things we don't have uh, good roads inside oh inside rush because is uh, some roads is are very dangerous mm -hmm. and uh, it's not good for uh, after traveling and the second we don't have a pr good producer uh, for uh, of uh, with uh, with uh, wagon 
mm. campers because um, because we, we don't have uh, hobbies we don't have kind of uh, ways and we need to buy uh, from uh, from the united states mm -hmm. or maybe europe and it's very very expensive for our people i think mm. yeah 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 i agree mm -hmm. i agree okay okay and and any other one that you want to uh, discuss here okay. maybe cottage or the flats maybe because you live in a or you you live in moscow and your dream <laughs> home is a flat so tell us about the advantages and disadvantages of living in a flat oh okay uh, in my opinion uh, flat is the most com comfortable um, kind of living mm -hmm. uh, if you live in a big city like moscow and um, and why why is that why is it comfortable because uh, because we have a lot of traffic jams and then um, uh, inside Moscow, we don't have uh, uh, another ways of flats, only flat. <laughs> only flats. Yes, we don't have countryside inside the Moscow. Of course. Yes, and, uh, and we can um, choose uh, only uh, kind of flat. <laughs> For example, more size, little size, or maybe new construction of uh, historical construction of soviet union times construction mm -hmm. is a different type of flats uh, and uh, the most important for me and my family is location because moscow is a very very big city and we have a lot of traffic jams and um, if you live in the center is a uh, more comfortable for uh, for moving inside city in the city the city and um, but um, in the historical center we don't have a lot of parks and um, fresh zones i see yes <laughs> yeah, so. so let's just practice the pronunciation on one thing michael so let's do so so comfortable comfortable so it's like the or is silent so it's comfortable like this comfortable Comfortable. So this is the so you can read that. That's like the phonetic. Uh huh. Comfortable. Comfortable. Like the ch <laughs> comfortable. Okay. comfortable. So even though it's comfortable, comfortable. The, yes. The or, the or yeah. we don't say it's comfortable. Yes. Yeah. We have a Russian word comfort. <laughs> oh yes, comfort, comfort. Yes. yes. So this so yeah, it's similar, but we just kind of change a little bit. And the a is not. A or A, it's uh, comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Great. And what? And the last one that we'll discuss, Michael, if you don't mind, is going to be the the cottage because you, it's your dream to have a cottage. So, talk 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 to me about uh, the the benefits and the drawbacks of cottage. If you ask me about cottage, mm, huh? I think cottage is a mm, nice place for living. Mm -hmm. in holidays okay um, yeah mm. and uh, but um, we, you need to have a lot of traffic on friday and a lot of traffic on sunday <laughs> when a lot of people um need to back need, need to get get back get back yeah uh, um, do a lot of russians have yeah 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 it's a, yes it's a type of our relax we have not cottage we we have dacha oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes 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 it's um, our mm, uh sometimes uh cottage is only for uh sun period not for okay everyone Welcome back. Welcome back. So let's uh, choose choose one of them. Yeah. Choose one of the ones that you spoke. Okay. And you can and um, and just talk about the benefits and the drawbacks, the positives and the negatives. Okay. So uh, let's start. Let's start with Michael. Okay. Uh, we, we told. Um, I told. <laughs> um, I told about uh, semi detached house. Okay. 
because uh, in my opinion, semi detached house is a good compromise between uh, comfortable uh, living and uh, cost of living and because um, it's good way for sharing uh, infrastructure cost and um, and uh, other cost with your neighbors <laughs> but if uh, neighbors are very bad guys uh, you can have a big problems <laughs> Exactly. That's, that's the disadvantage if your neighbors are not the best. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You get your own home, you know, but, you know, you still, it's a little bit like an apartment where you share some things. Okay, great. Great, Michael. And Emily, which one do you want to talk about? Uh, we discussed, uh, for example, Villa. Okay. And we found like uh, that in uh, one hand, uh, the positive side, I mean, it's that uh, we will high, uh, we will have like high levels of uh, privacy, luxury of space, and that it will be like a big, big uh, uh, land and a big, big house with a lot of great things inside. But uh, disadvantages, it's um, that you need to pay a lot of taxes and you need to take care of uh, every room mm -hmm. in your villa. You need to clean it, you need to organize it. And uh, even with your land, <laughs> you need to take care of your land and it's very expensive. Yeah, so the maintenance is a good word. The maintenance is very expensive. Yeah, great, 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 great explanation. And uh, Huna, tell us, uh, Talk, talk to us about another type of home. Uh, we discussed about a camper bag. Mm. And we, I think the advantage of living in a camper van is traveling everywhere I want with the vehicle. But the disadvantage is the space is very small and some mosquitoes or some bugs can yes. bite us can bite you yes that's right that's right so it's not very comfortable but it's um but it's mobile right so just remember uh, you know, so with when you use discuss you don't use about now you can say we talked about that's good or we discussed so we discuss we discussed the camper van Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So we have a lot of some uh, disadvantages and some advantages. Okay, so all of these types of homes have advantages and disadvantages. Now we're going to talk about aspects, aspects of homes. Mm -hmm. So let's see, Michael, what, what does aspect mean? Uh, aspect is a um, okay. option or character. Exactly. Of something, yeah, the aspect or the character. That's character. right. Or uh, the aspect or things. It can be things, you know, or uh, elements, elements, characteristics, all of these. So all of these are aspects right here. Okay. So now, um, with your with your new partner, okay, you want to choose five aspects that are important for you. Okay, so we already you already talked a little bit about some of these, but now we're going to go deeper. Okay, so which ones are important? And you can all say which ones are not important. Okay, and so, but it has to be your top, maybe top five. Of course, a lot of us want everything, but you have to choose what's mo most important, okay, for you and explain why. Okay, and explain to your partner why. And then when you're listening, write down what your partner says, because then you will present and you will say, okay, Emily, Emily thinks that, you know, having a pool is very blah, 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 blah. Or for Emily, a central location is very important, is not very important because, okay. So take notes of what your partner says, and then we will share, okay. So let's go to our next one, next group.
Hi, Huna. Hey. Hi, hi. So, Huna, let's let's look at this. So, for you, what's uh, what aspects are important for you when you're choosing a home? Your top five. When I choose, I, I think a big size is very important for me really? in my dream house. <laughs> Wait, why is that? Because I think a larger house, larger space can make me feel more comfortable. Mm. Are you going to say maybe or having, having, having a larger space? Yes. Oh, because yeah. a small house can make me very depressed, I oh, think. Depressed. I cannot move or if I cannot move a lot, I think bad things. I think. I see, I see. Okay. So you, the the first one is the big size. What's number two? Um number two is uh, the location near water. Oh, really? Yeah, you said you said uh, specifically uh, near a river, right? Yes, river, a uh, stream. Oh wow! And why is that? Because in the river, I can feel many nature things, some birds twittering, or some wind blow, blow. Mm. Uh, the wind can blow. Yes, wind can blow, and yes. I like that. I see. So it's mostly because it's uh, because of the natural element. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Also, sometimes the sound. It's a nice sound. You know, it looks beautiful. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. So that's number your number two. What's your number three? Number three is central location. Mm. I like living in the city. Uh, I think I can go anywhere I want to easily mm. if we, I am in the central location. And also, if I have an emergency situation, the, the other people, such as 911, can Home, my home quickly, I oh, think. That's right. That's right. Yeah, like an ambulances or the. That's right. If you need help, it's important. It's important to be connected. Yes, great. I feel safe. I can feel safe. That's right. Feeling safe is very important. Okay, great. And next one. Next one is nice neighbors. Nice neighbors, important. Yes, because. The former house I live in, and I had not, I don't, I had a bad neighbors, and it was very stressful. Really? Why, why were they bad? Were they very angry? Did they scream a lot? Yes, they scream a lot in mm -hmm. the dawn or in the late night. So it great. was very noisy, and I don't like them were they very angry were they very yes, angry? they were angry and sometimes they fight each other and i can hear them so yeah that's not good not not, not good not good <laughs> okay 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 and then uh and the next one the last one the last one i hope it had a it had a beautiful yard mm -hmm. I can enjoy running in the yard or some barbecue party from there. I can invite my family or friends. Mm. So I think it would be very good. Yes. Yes, yes. Great. Awesome. So now I'm going to share with you some ideas. So for me, I think the most important thing is that it's airy. I like like open spaces, you know, open spaces. So sometimes some houses, have, some houses have small little rooms, a lot of little rooms, but I like open spaces. 
And so I definitely like that, uh, that it's uh, area. I would say a location near water. Location near water is important. You know, although if I had to choose, I would choose uh, close to the beach, you know, because I love the ocean. I love going and running in the morning, running on the ocean and then swimming and then starting my day you know wow. so that's the first thing oh and or having a picnics in the evening and enjoying and relaxing reading on the beach you know so i really do like the the beach a lot mm, i would say um a good location central location would be good like the central location may be close to a city you know close to the water you know or at least close to um, like important shops and important too. So it has to be, this. it doesn't have to be exactly in the center, but it has to be central or it has to be uh, close to other things. Okay. Neighbors are very important, like you said, because if you, if you don't have nice neighbors, then, um, then uh, yeah, you can, you know, it's not, it's not comfortable. Okay. And then the last one, um, the last a price would probably be important. You know, I don't want it to be important, but you know, it's the reality, you know. Right. You know, if it costs five million dollars, then I would have to wait a little, a little longer to buy it, you know. It wouldn't be possible now, but you know, it's it is it is important to choose. So um, so you know like you you described a great great home how how difficult or how easy is it to find that home in seoul right now <laughs> i think it is very hard <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> i see i see i see so it's difficult but not impossible that's not impossible but all right all right all right great Great. So let's. Uh, so right now we're going to describe what our partner said. Okay. So I'm going to describe Huna's. Uh, what five aspects are important for Huna? So for for Huna, you know, the size is important. You know, the big size. You know, because she doesn't like to be, you know, cramped. She likes to be comfortable and uh, like having space to move around is important. She also likes to be uh, near water, as she said, close to the river or a stream because it's it's beautiful it's healthy it's natural okay also uh, a beautiful yard a beautiful yard a nice backyard because she can have barbecue she can enjoy the space so that's uh definitely important uh nice neighbors because if if she, if she has bad neighbors then you know she, she does have experience with bad neighbors that they were very angry and they were very loud and uh, and that's not a good experience. You know, it's not good. And the last one, central location, because she'll feel safe if she's in, in a central location. You know, she can if she has problems, she can call the ambulance, she can call the police, and she'll feel very safe. Okay. So, you know, can you describe my uh, what aspects are important for me? David said he the most important thing he when he chose a uh, house for is the like, airy because he likes the open space so the airy is the most important thing and secondly he mentioned the location near water and he liked uh, running in the around the beach and he like start a day That's running right. in the morning and start a day and also a good location is very important. That especially in the central location, but it is important to good move to the other center or the shop. Mm -hmm. So good location is important and also neighbors is important because it would be very uncomfortable if he met bad neighbors. And also the fifth one is the price. He doesn't want to consider it, but it is a reality problem. The yeah. price is 
for time to sing. It's a reality. It's the reality that we have to consider. Good, very nice presentation, Huna. And Michael, tell us about Emily. Yes, Emily um, talk me about uh, advantages of mm, and um, uh, most aspects, uh, most important aspects for Emily. Uh, first of all, uh, high uh, uh, high um, ceiling. Oh, high ceiling, yes. Yeah, high ceiling. More of 320 uh, or 40 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and um, the second uh, location near water. Mm -hmm. And or... <laughs> hmm? Did she say location near a specific uh, type of water or no? Mm. They didn't okay. discuss. Okay. They didn't discuss it. Okay, no problem. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, the first, uh, the third, um, the pool mm. is very, <laughs> very important. Uh, not only ocean uh, pool because. Um, because sun is very hot and we need to cool off in the pool. And um, the puff, uh, nice neighbors, like you and like me and uh, like everything. Oh, <laughs> like all of us. <laughs> uh, now Emily uh, has um, nice neighbors, like uh, comedian people. Mm, comedian? Yeah. Comedian, yes. Very funny. Problem. Yes, we're funny, and I think uh, they from uh, comedian show, yeah. Can uh, Canada Canadian people. Canadian. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they could be comedians from. And Canada. I had, um, in the past, <laughs> All Canadian travel. are comedian. Central location. Uh, mm -hmm is very important too, mm, but it depends on city, mm. on cities, because for example, um, it, it will be a historical center with historical buildings or maybe skyscrapers scrapers like Dubai and um, et cetera. Mm. And um, the six, <laughs> the six <laughs> important things uh, is, uh, clean streets like Singapore or Dubai. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. <laughs> that's, that's a very nice, very nice presentation, Michael. And <laughs> Emily, your turn. Your turn. Tell, tell us about Michael's mm. top aspects. Yeah, uh, five aspects of Michael. Uh, for him, it's very important to have nice neighbors because he has a little daughter Mm -hmm. And uh, he wants like uh, to have uh, healthy people around her and uh, good uh, schools and kid kitten gardens. Mm -hmm. And uh, the price is very important because uh, Michael mentioned that he's not a billionaire. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not <laughs> that it's very important. And for him, um, it's better when it's airy, uh, because he likes the open space and when the ceiling is higher than three meters mm -hmm. and he doesn't like this USSR, uh, style of flats mm -hmm. when they were too tiny and <laughs> with the, like, uh, uh, I don't know, small ceilings. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, small ceilings or maybe a uh, short ceiling. Short ceiling, yeah. And he likes uh, Bratislava. That's why he would like to have a flat. Really? That has a central location, uh, mm -hmm. central location. And then he can walk around and enjoy uh, like some historical monuments and buildings. Interesting. So why do you like Bratislava, Michael? Um, yes, uh, because Bratislava is a good compromise. Compromise is in my world today. Uh, <laughs> between uh, is a small town, but this is capital, and uh, they have uh, not expensive uh, 
not expensive apartments uh, in the historical center. And uh, this, is his, uh, this is the center of Europe. Mm, and um, they have a lot of, uh, a lot of um, head, office or head offices of international companies because they have low taxes oh, for living and for companies too. It's a good, good, uh, yes. And everything is close. I mean, you can go to Vienna. Yeah, Vienna, 40 minutes in taxi. In yeah. the Vienna and the Bratislava is the most far capitals in the world. Right. The only 40 minutes. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is, it is a good option. I've been there a few times. I uh, lived in Slovakia and it was a great, great place. Great. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So right now we're going to watch this short little video here and we're going to discuss it. Okay, so just uh, we'll watch and you'll just when you when you listen, just try to catch the important um, the important elements or the important you know, content. Okay, and then we'll uh, I'll ask you some few questions about it. Okay. So. Describe your dream home. My dream home would be large, airy, near the water, preferably in a warm climate. It would be a house in the mountains, by the lake. I'm from Wisconsin. Let's, actually, let's, step, let's start with this one. Just one, okay? Dream home. My dream home would be large, airy, near the water, preferably in a warm climate. It would be a Okay. So, Emily, what, what did this lady want? Uh, she wants large, airy, near the water, and warm climate. That's right. Wow. Very good. Now, Michael, what about this guy? The mountains, by the lake. I'm from Wisconsin. Okay. I'm from... I, I didn't catch it. Okay, let's see. Let's do this one again. Preferably in a warm climate. It would be a house in the mountains, by the lake. I'm from... House in the mountains. Yeah. Mountains. Mountains. Okay. House in the mountains. By the by the lake. Mountains oh. by the lake. Yes, okay. these guys, you know, they they speak very it's a good training because since they are they're native and they're like at home, they just be like blah, 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 you know. So <laughs> so it's they don't speak very clearly. Clearly. <laughs> <don't speak> very, <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't speak clearly. So it's good, it's good training because then we can yeah. try to catch. So, Huna, what about this lady? Wisconsin. So we have uh, a dream home already. Um, plenty of square footage, bathrooms, a uh, beautiful yard. Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you catch that? And she already living in her dream house and some footies or some bedroom, bedrooms. Yes. Yeah, so she said a lot of square footage. So this is the size when you say square footage. So square foot, square feet is like square meters. And square footage, when you have a lot of square footage, it's big size. Yeah, yeah. square footage. Yeah, good, good, good. And um, perfect. So let's see, let's continue here. Five acres on an island, enough room for a horse or two. My dream home is a home that has all the amenities that I've ever thought and I've ever wanted. It's not all about the amenities and the space. Maybe a sauna or a whirlpool. This doesn't have to be the Taj Mahal. Big, big. Is that Emily? What were some of the things that they said? They're talking about amenities. Mm -hmm. They're very important for them. Okay. What were some amenities that he mentioned? Uh, I didn't catch because like, I had a little bit of noise here. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Did anybody catch any of this? Amenities? Hmm. Is it like the, the sauna? Sauna, yes. I catch sauna. Yes. The sauna, yes. Okay. So let's, let's watch a little bit more here. Who's looking into the West? Dream home. Three bedroom, two bath, front lawn, backyard, pool. Probably can't find it in Manhattan. <laughs> Made like something smaller so I could travel more, have less upkeep. My dream home would consist of my children being happy and healthy. That's all it takes to them a simple man. Mod. Okay, so Michael, what, was, did you, what did you catch? 
uh, lady with uh, free bathroom. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Backyard. Backyard. And Backyard. small and another one like smaller and travel more. The other lady, yes. Yeah, the other lady said something small so she can travel around more. It doesn't need a lot of upkeep. So here, upkeep. Another upkeep means when you have to clean it and you have to fix things. So it says no, no upkeep or low upkeep. Okay, good. And let's so you know, let's just watch a few seconds and just see what you catch. So you don't have to catch everything. Just catch. Oh, the guy. The guy wanted wants a sauna. The girl wants uh, something small, something easy. Okay, just general stuff. But homey. Uh, probably thirty five hundred square feet. I, I think a, a small, you know, two bedroom house, cottage on the sea. On a golf course. Particular state or country? California. California. I have looked at some places in California. I've looked at some places in Ohio. I mentioned in the Hamptons, actually. Uh, New York City, for sure. The dream home is in New York. It's a big uh, condo on the new buildings on 57th Street with glass and the view of Central Park. But I don't have it, and it's not in the cards, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what did you catch, Huna, there? Uh, most of them prefer to live in California. They, there's a couple of important things to talk about. We're going to talk about the immediate okay, short term for Bitcoin. Oh, what does that. this pattern mean for Bitcoin? Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, all right, so a lot of them want to live in California, right? Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So it's always good to, um, to watch some of these. Uh, so especially these people because of course you know uh, teachers like like me you know we we are trained to speak a certain way like we speak like the international way we speak so some of these videos if you watch it once or twice and try to catch what they're saying you know it'll be a good training um you know for 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 all of us you know to to catch like the, the native native uh speech so the next one, okay, we have some questions. Okay, so we're gonna go with our third and our third breakout room, and we're gonna discuss number number six. Okay, so here let me let me just show you which one it is, just to make sure that everyone understands. So it's these questions. Okay, discuss the following questions. Okay, there must be more than one bathroom in my dream home. Agree, disagree. Okay, so all of these questions right here. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll um, and then we'll get yeah, discuss you know the pictures and number nine. So we have enough time for two more discussions. Two more discussions. Okay, so let's go into our third breakout room. And you can join your partner for this discussion. Oh, hello, hello. Hey. All right, so let's discuss this. Let's discuss these interesting questions. So, um, Number one, point number one, there must be more than one bathroom in my dream home. Do you agree? Why or why not? I agree because, I mean, um, uh, we tried living in different uh, homes. And when it has uh, more than one uh, bathroom, it looks like a dream because, I mean, uh, everybody can take a shower uh, and you don't need to wait. I mean, it's much better. That's right. So here's, here's another question that's connected to this. Do you think it's better to have kind of like the toilet separate from the bathroom or it doesn't matter? Because in America, we like to have all of them together. 
the toilet, the bat, the the shower, everything together. But in Europe, they like to separate them. What's your opinion about that? Oh, it depends on your house or your apartment. Uh, like we have here, uh, like a toilet and bathroom together in one big room, and it seems uh, quite good. Mm -hmm. And I think if you have more than one bathroom, maybe it's better when they're together because, I mean, you'd like to take a shower and here's you like the toilet, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's very comfortable. What about you? Well, it is comfortable, it's true, you know, uh, and it's close, so you don't, but, but I don't know, I sometimes think the, the European way is also very practical, because, you know, you know, especially if you, if you share, you know, let's say if you're married and your wife, your husband, you know, if someone wants to use the bathroom, the other one can take a shower, or your kids, you know, kids can take a shower, and so it, it can be more practical yeah you know yeah. especially if you have like one bathroom and one toilet right right and also some people like to have a different space to go to the bathroom and a different space different room for for washing and for taking a shower and taking a bath some people think it's not good to have them in the same room but, oh but you know but it's it's just it's just a matter of preference and it's just a matter of opinion now What's more important for you, lots of space or a central location? I think, uh, I think uh, a central location mm -hmm. because we don't want like, I mean, we all don't like to stay in a traffic jams. That's why it's better like this central location when you can enjoy like some good places where you can uh, walk by uh, food. Mm -hmm. and uh, for example, some parks in areas. I mean, but it's a big question because when you don't have uh, enough space, it's a big deal. Yes. So you could say in, you you would say go by foot, go by foot, or walk, but not walk by foot. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, good good point. You know, I agree with you. The you know, I was in real estate before and they said it's location, location, location. That's the most important thing. You know, the value of a home is based on the location. Mm -hmm. That's the most important aspect. And if it's a central location in most big cities, it's, um, chan it's harder to get something big in a central location. Mm -hmm. It's much harder. And so... So some people have to make that choice. And, you know, it just depends kind of also your, your lifestyle. You know, if you are the type of person that is very active, like young people like to, you know, young couples, young families, well, they have to go here and they can go to the pool and go to the gym and go to shopping and go to the park and go to the theater, and go to the whatever, you know, uh, then you need to be in the central location. If not, you will spend hours traveling and that's a waste of time now a beautiful yard is a must if you have children do you agree i i agree i agree and i've always uh thought like this but actually i heard one interview mm -hmm. and uh, one lady explained that uh, when they had a really nice uh, uh beautiful yard Mm -hmm. Her daughter that was uh, two years old, mm -hmm. she started feeling, I mean, unsocial. Oh, wow. So you said asocial. Asocial. And she recognized it. And then they moved to, to a flat. I mean, because like uh, to be in a countryside with a beautiful yard for kids, it's not the most important thing. As I thought before, it's more important for them to connect with other kids and to be social. That's right. Yeah. That's important. It's important, yeah. So maybe, you know, for them to have a chance to go to the park. Yeah. No, that would be nice. That would be nice. Okay. Now, do you have nice neighbors and do you get on with them? 
Yes, I have really nice neighbors and I uh, get on with them. But during the pandemic, uh, it's not so often. Nice. Or we just go like uh, for a walk and we drink uh, coffee or something and we don't uh, go to each other's uh, apartments. Ah, I see. I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. And um, yeah, yeah, with me, they're very nice. The neighbors are very nice, but I, I don't really, we, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm uh, kind of like a foreigner here or, or something, uh, or I'm maybe like a, you know, single man, but, but, but like, I say hi to them, but that's, that's it, you know. But in a lot of, a lot of neighbors, it's, it looks like that. Yeah. I mean, when you don't connect mm -hmm. with them. You, you say hi, you say hi, you say, uh, you know, you open the door for them, you know, mm -hmm. but no relationship, you know, no connection, you know. And uh, yeah, but they say that here it's here in Europe, it's uh, or in, in, in Prague, it's normal. You know, mm -hmm. in other parts of the world, you know, when you when you come, your neighbors, you know, they bring you food, they invite you, like, hey, come have a coffee, let's talk, let's. But uh, but here, no, you know, it's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. When we moved to um, Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. And we met uh, these uh, really nice Canadian uh, couples. Mm -hmm. It was like three women mm -hmm. and uh, one man. And they asked them, uh, they asked them like uh, so often to drink some coffee together. Wow. And they uh, baked some cookies. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, it's always, uh, like, it's always nice to spend some time together. And we, we made pizza and we uh, asked them uh, to visit us. And I mean, wow, like it's cool. Yeah, it's nice. It makes it, you know, it gives you that sense of community. Now, the last one is my dream home will consist of my children being happy and healthy. Do you agree? Oh, of course. But how to guess it how to find the right uh, happy and healthy home for children it's a big deal because i mean they're so different they love different things and you need to find like what's better for them i th think it's not easy it's not easy yeah okay very good very good okay perfect 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 all right everyone so we're going to move uh, quickly to to the last one. Okay, so here just to make sure. So this one you can do. You can go through these by yourself. You know, after class, maybe you already did before class. Any questions on what these mean? Mm -mm. No, no question. Does everyone know what lift means? Elevator. Elevator. Yeah, it goes up, up, and you know, um, yeah, like the little box elevator lift. Okay, elevator is American, lift is British. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, so these are just yeah, you put them in the category. If it does it talk about size, description, it's an amenity or location. Okay, so that's quite easy. Okay, so right here now. Okay, the, pick one of these pictures. Okay, and describe it. Okay, and then after that, we will discuss the question. So, um, Emily, pick um, one. Of maybe number three, <laughs> uh, because it's a one? big window. Yeah, and uh, it's white. It's uh, the color that I love. And uh, big windows, uh, really nice neighborhood because uh, it is very close uh, to the water. Mm. Maybe it's a lake mm. or a river. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like a lake or pond. And uh, yeah, everything is like minimalistic and uh, the ceiling uh, uh, looks very interesting because it has like some spaces where you can see the sky and the clouds and a really nice um, 
uh, a really nice uh, flowers or I don't know a tree. Yeah. You see I... on the picture a plant. Yeah, that's true. Very nice. Yeah, I I think that it's a great great uh, house or a penthouse. Mm, very nice. Perfect. All right, next one, Huda. Can you talk about one of the other pictures? All right, talk about the second house. Okay. I think it is a detached house. Yeah, detached. It has a some front yard, and I think it would be difficult to upkeep the grass. For a regular time, and but I think it is very good to play on the garden, and I think the house is quite very large size, mm -hmm. so it will be very good to live in, and also it has a very big windows, so I think the house. Could be very airy. Mm, that's right. I like that. Very good. Very, very good um, explanation there, Huna. And uh, Michael, so which one of these two would you prefer to talk about? Uh, I prefer uh, to talk about uh, the second. Mm, oh, sorry, the fourth. The uh, fourth one, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a Typical, um, typical countryside in England or maybe Scotland, yes. and uh, there are uh, terraced, terraced houses, or yeah. maybe um, uh, semi-detached houses, maybe, and um, there are very, uh, there are very um, historical and old yes. houses. Uh, of course, they are very small, without I think gas <laughs> or uh, or a lot of comfortable aspects. But um, but it's very um, very historical and very hot hot. Yeah. Uh, yes, and um, it's a good place for um, for living. I think. Yeah. Yeah, these terraced, terraced uh, houses, you know, and it's, yeah, it's almost like, kind of like a, like a dream, you know, kind of like a fairy tale, kind of like the, the British, like a British fairy tale story, you know, so good. So uh, now the last one, the last one, number nine, okay, mm -hmm. with your, with your new partner, just discuss these for the next, uh, let's see, yeah, just maybe two, uh, Three minutes, okay? So just, just a short little final conversation, okay, before we finish. Okay, and then you can join your partner and discuss these last questions. Okay. All right, Michael, so is it better to live at the seaside or in the mountains? Why? Um, I think better is a better to live uh, in Sochi because uh, Sochi have <laughs> <laughs> has and the seaside and it has both. It has both. So that, that's the solution. Both. both. But, yes, but for me, of course, uh, uh, the seaside because Why that? Uh, because um, it's most comfortable for during all uh during all like uh, all year i see because in the mountains we have a winter <laughs> i don't like winter it gets cold so you remember a uh, sea seaside 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 yeah okay. okay great perfect and what are the advantages of living in the country um, maybe only fresh air uh, and <laughs> i don't know and the fresh uh, food from <laughs> from farm near the country. Yeah, but yeah, the fresh air is good. Yeah, the, even the sound, that's something that we don't think about. 
it's so quiet oh, yeah 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 so. very good for the mind yeah now if you live in a block of flats is a lift a must of course uh, must have a lift because because if you have uh children you need a lift <laughs> that's correct and so um what can you do to make your house or flat more homely you know warmer more homely more homely is a more um, is more comfortable homely homely means kind of uh yeah comfortable more welcoming warmer 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 okay i think it's depend on uh, people who live in flat or <laughs> house because um uh, two two months ago i read uh, two interesting book about scandinavian uh, designer uh, and scandinavian style of living it's a hugo from uh, yes. yes from copenhagen and uh, lagom from sweden and uh, <laughs> i think uh, uh, scandinavian guys can um, uh, can make homely homely style uh, in uh, in uh, in every in every house that's in right. flat home countryside villa <laughs> yeah. i don't know the very very yeah the hugo that's a that's a nice movement yeah it's, it's all about making it super comfortable with blankets uh, <laughs> the, yes the atmosphere the music yeah. the, the candles you know it's, because if, if you have winter you need more uh, you, you need hugo <laughs> you, you need hugo if you're yeah 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 and it's a philosophy you know yes it's yes. a philosophy where it's not but, yeah lifestyle yes it's lifestyle. and it's about you know getting some hot chocolate and just no. <laughs> enjoying it you know and in the united states we're not like that nasty it's just like you know consumerism just buy 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 entertainment oh. TV, like shh, shh, shh. and uh but it, there it's a different way of thinking but if you live in missouri or uh, the north dakota <laughs> For example, yeah. you have you need to Hugo too. You need to, you need to. Yeah, it's necessary. Okay, and um, okay, what problems might you have if you live in a small home? A uh, small size for a comfortable life with uh, two or three relatives, for example. If you land is. is All right, all right, everyone. So I don't want to keep you here too too much longer. I mean, this is very interesting. All of your ideas were very interesting, you know. But it's already getting uh, later for all of us, so I don't want to keep you too long. But great, great lesson. Okay, great, great speaking, great ideas. Okay, and so yeah, have a great. Uh, thank you for your flexibility. Well, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Next week we'll go back to our regular regular schedule Thursday okay it seems like Thursday <laughs> <laughs> oh okay have a good have a day good bye, bye see you bye soon bye, bye. bye have a good day bye, bye. bye. you bye. too bye bye everyone